These are the games we played and the games we gave up on. Episode two. I'm Scott. I'm Jen. We're Retro Rivals, and we are going to talk about all the games that we played in the last quarter-ish yeah. of the year. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's been a little bit like slow, that. but not that bad. We have a decent stack of games. I was kind of surprised. I was surprised, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's rip through them fast. Okay. I don't even know in what order we have, but I'm just going to grab them. You made the order, so it's... There I is no mean, order. I just threw them in here. Chaos. All right. Nintendo DS. Ghost Trick. Oh, Phantom Detective. You wouldn't mention this one first? I... I didn't, I didn't, I didn't give up on it. It's just been play. I've been playing it for You're like still playing months, it. months, months. It's good. It, it's good. It, it is a good game. You're, you die in the game. You're a ghost. You're trying to save this other detective that keeps dying. She's basically me. She's very clumsy, but she dies. She goes all the way through with it. So you go to different inanimate objects to try to go through the Are you whole done playing this get game yet? No! Just stop explaining it too you much of it. Put it away. You go through the whole you're cycle gonna, she's and gonna you try be, to save no. her! You're going to be talking about it again when you finally finish it. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to do this. Go to your room and put something naughty on it. Trine 5, A Clockwork Conspiracy. I swear to God this is called Trine because you be trying to play it all the time. It was trying for us at times, but we got through it. We enjoyed it, but jeez. This still might be the best Trine. It is. Don't get me wrong, guys. The Trine games Some are Some of these really puzzles, are, they hit a new level on these puzzles. I don't know if we're just getting old and dumb or what, but... We had a fight where I stopped talking to people for like a half hour. Yeah, it was great. It was fantastic. Me and Dennis played this game. We figured out those puzzles way quicker. No. <laughs> My favorite part about this, where I'm like, why isn't anybody helping me? And Dennis is like, Jen. I'm like, you have to help me. Jen, You, I need you over here. I need you over here. You're the other character. You're walking into a wall. <laughs> He's like, okay. And she's pissed oh, off like, at him. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> and I go over and help. Silent Hill Shattered Memories on the PSP. Happy Mother's Day. You guys will see that later. Well, you probably have already seen it. Well, kind of happy Mother's Day. <laughs> I did not give up on this game, but this game gave up on me. I got to the very end. I walk into the lighthouse. I was like, the lighthouse is actually not a lighthouse. Literally it's a clinic. It's the last scene. It's right? the last scene. I go, oh, look at that thing over there. And then I go to walk in the door where the therapist is. And the game freezes and just deletes everything. Crash. No save point. No nothing. So I'm considering it complete. The with all the choices I made, I could yeah. figure out my ending, but I'm not playing an entire game to walk through a door. Just but I really, the scene at the end I it. really, really did like the game. I just didn't like what it did to me. Oh. Not nice, game. Not nice. I noticed a theme of Jen, like, being kind of crabby here. No, I won't be crabby the entire time. All right, this is this is mine. Me and Alex played the uh, uh, Sniper Elite V2. Yes. On the 360, there's two copies of it because that's how we played it. We play it uh, couch co-op in the same room. I have two TVs. And yeah. I stick another TV beside my son on the on the lazy boy because he's used to the little PC thing there version. I use the big screen. Yeah, you and guys we, had a lot of fun with this. This one was really fun. Yeah, I was surprised on how fun it was that uh, we we jumped right into uh, Sniper Elite Three. Yeah, you guys blew through this blew game too. Short. This one's short. Five, six hours, maybe? Oh, yeah, maybe. But really fun. Really, really fun. Really fun. I really enjoyed I, I enjoyed this one more than, I think it was five, four or five. Whatever one we played. Yeah. I think it was five that we played before. And I was like, eh. I said, three's better than that one. But I, I think this one might be better than three. I don't know. Mm. I had a good time with it. Yeah. This one is a masterpiece. I'm not going to go crazy talking about it, but... Jen did do a review I on did it. do a I review. Would, we would appreciate it if you guys would go and check out that review. Yeah. We'll put a little link in the description. Jen Luvex, I don't know how to do that stuff. Yeah. Um, my I favorite RPG. My, I forced her to play a good game. You did. And uh, like I said in the review, I, I have not played 
um, many RPGs, but this one so far is my favorite, and it is amazing. It's a 10 out of 10. I loved it. Such I a great it. game. I loved it, too. Oh. I am playing this right now, and it has taken me a long damn time because and life... it's not because the game's not Life good. is kicking my butt. It is. Life is kicking me hard. I started this game, I had an accident, I had a bad concussion, yeah. I could not play kind of a 3D kind of game, <laughs> Yeah. It was I could not, then uh, I was able to play, I did play it a couple hours here a few weeks ago, and then we had to do some work on outside the foundation. on the foundation because we have a leak in the storage room here. Game and we didn't area. want it to get worse, so yes. we went overboard. So and... I was out there digging my own grave for like... Oh, he, and he straight. made sure to tell everybody he was digging his I, own grave. I hated it. I hated yeah. it. Not the game. I hate the whole dig in there. <laughs> but I'm going to finish it, and I'll talk about it more when I finish it. Yeah. Jenny! Jenny, this one's yours. Yes. Condemned Criminal Origins on the Xbox 360. Now, you'll see a lot of Xbox 360 games here. We did do some Xbox 360 videos, yeah. and I... This was in, recommended by people in the comments, yes, was it not? Yes, well, no. It was yes, games, well, no? Let me explain. It was games we wanted to play this year on 360. Oh. And everybody talked about this one. I was like, it wasn't even a day that the video had been up. I was like, cool, everybody's saying play it. I played it. I went in that room she that very day. Banged it out. like. And then the next day I played for another hour and a half yeah. and I was done the game. It's not a long game. So it's long enough. Eight-ish, eight-ish Eight, hours. nine hours. Yeah. Um, Really, really great game. I'm often disappointed by horror games lately because it's just a lot of sound effects and jump scares for no reason. This one was really, really good and very unexpected. The, the whole time through, I I really loved it. And the mannequins in the mall, the abandoned shopping mall, mwah, loved it. Pretty hot, really. It was just, it was really well done. Really well done. All right, this one here. I remember a lot of people saying, Scott, you gotta play this one, you gotta play this one. And I was excited to play this one. Evil West on the PS5. Oh boy. <laughs> well, all said and done, I enjoyed it. 20 year old Scott would have enjoyed it more. Yeah, my reflexes aren't quite what they used to be. And um, but, patience. <laughs> oh, I, you know what? I would have enjoyed it a lot better if I had it went down one notch in the difficulty. Yeah. But in my stubborn old man age, I was like, I'm beating this on normal. And I got all the way up to the last two boss fights. And it was... Yeah. I was ready to throw a controller. And I was like, it's just chaotic. Chaotic. I know. It's, it's big fight after big fight after big fight. And it's fun. There's a lot of good, cool things about it, like uh, all your weapons. You put money into getting different abilities, bringing these weapons up. But if you decide that you don't like your certain loadout, or I want to try that one, when you there's uh, when you go back to the home base, yeah, can't remember what it's called. But anyway, you can basically wipe all the, take all the money off everything, start over, and put them in different spots again, and start over until you find. Oh, I really like that weapon, but this one sucks. Yes. And you figure out how you're going to fight, basically. And I played this while you were playing that. And I was like, yeah, could you please could not you be stop. playing that so I can enjoy raging, this? Raging. It was, there was, the boss itself would be difficult. And then the boss just keeps spawning little oh, enemies. Oh, I and know. It's just, you've seen me. It I was did. chaos. It was chaos. It's but, chaos. But you know what? This made me appreciate. It made I, I, me appreciate how Scott feels when I play beside yes. him. Because I'm typically yes. the one raging. Overall, I enjoyed it. Not that much. But if I would have enjoyed it a lot more if I had played it on easy. Yeah. And mod that should be the motto of the video. Don't play <laughs> it on a more difficult level. Just for that, I play. I beat it on normal. Play yeah. it and enjoy it. it. There's no accolades to playing on a harder <laughs> level for everyone. But the worst thing about it, up until that, I was beating every boss on like probably the second, if not third try. Maybe not even having to do that many. But you've seen that last one. I, I was on my like probably sixth try there. Yeah. The second last boss. Bleep, 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 bleep. Yeah. I had to. I just, no, I'm going to. Bump it down, and I think I beat him on the second try after I bumped it down. I was like, oh, I could breathe again. But yeah. Jenny's played Spider-Man. I did, PS4. for the very first time. 
Oh my god. Goody Why goody. haven't I been playing more hero games? Oh like, my more? god. No, well, this is like not, not every hero, hero games. games. What am I? Like, like, what's the this... word I'm looking for? Superhero games. Superhero yes, games. Yeah, well, yeah. like this is. This is kind of like. This is the cream of the crop there. Whew, I, mean, so I know everybody says Arkham, those are really fantastic, but they have aged a little bit in I'm, comparison I'm to this. about going in back comparisons. and trying to play those games. Yeah. Spider-Man, I literally did every single thing I could do in the game. Yeah. Now, I didn't get all the achievements for every... I think you were like me. I did everything I could do, but like I... For every fight you do, they give you like three things, challenges yeah. per fight. Like, I didn't get them all every time. And like, I wasn't... web three enemies to a wall yeah. and do this. And yeah. some of those things, I'm just like, it wasn't a move I used all the time. So I wouldn't end up getting it because I'd be trying to force myself to do it. But yeah. then it would be hindering my experience with the game. So I'm like, you know what? I only play as much of a game or do as much in a game until it starts to affect my opinion of the game. And I didn't want that to happen with Spider-Man because it was amazing and such a great story. We still don't have number two yet. And pigeons can go, they can just. I hated that challenge. Too. Yes, the pigeons yes. weren't my favorite, yeah. but I did them all. All right, I'm running out of games. Uh, let's do an extra You're gonna steal one. You're still one of mine? Yeah, we're just doing an extra one for you. Oh. I can talk about this one Deadly really quickly. Deadly Premonitions yes. on the Xbox 360 this, was also recommended by yes, the people was, in the comments. The second most, if not maybe the first most, because I played this one right away, and then people kept mentioning this, and they're like, oh my god, Twin Peaks. And I was like, oh my god, I haven't seen it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm kind of wondering, should I be watching Twin Peaks first? But I'm about four or five hours into the game, and it's so tongue-in-cheek, and it's so much fun. Well, you're not done it yet. No, not oh. even close. It, well, it's don't a, say too much. It's a lot of fun so far, and I'm hoping that continues through the game. It's 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 interesting. All right, I'm not going to talk a lot about this because I've mentioned it a bunch of different times. But South Park, the stick of truth. This is like fired me back up on the whole South Park kick there. Yeah. I love this game. This was 10 out of 10. I love the humor. I I was I was homesick with a cold. Yeah. And I just basically played it for two days straight, and it just it made me laugh, made me feel better, and it was yeah. fantastic. Sometimes you need that. Yeah. I I loved it. I loved it so much. I can't wait to play the fractured fractured but whole. There you go, you did it right. <laughs> Here one, this one's for Jenne, Pine View Drive. Yes. Well, Canadian made game. Yes, if you're Jamie RNG Gamer and you haven't finished it yet, uh, Shame on you. then just, no, just don't watch this portion yeah. of the video. But uh, Pine View Drive, I told him I was gonna reserve my opinions of it for him until he finished it. It's mediocre so it's at best. Um, you're walking through a house, a mansion, and there's like ghosts and stuff, but you don't ever really see a whole lot of anything. You're just trying to survive every day without getting scared to death. And how you get scared to death is if something jump scares you and you move your sticks on your controller, touch something, then it's like, ah, oh, you were scared. We know it. <laughs> And I was like, I wasn't, I just was moving. I wasn't, I So swear. you had to, you know, just kind of keep a constant Meanwhile, motion. Meanwhile, you're hiding behind the chair. No, it wasn't scary at all. I also bumped up the brightness so I wouldn't have to use the damn flashlight. But it, the game was pretty easy. I beat it over, like, course of six hours. It. Uh, I've never beat it that long. <laughs> but yeah, it took six hours. And uh, it was a Canadian distributed-only game. So apparently it's pretty... Um, expensive it's a rare in the game, U.S. Yeah. So, uh, but I could probably not so trade much so it up here. We it. were uh, we, we were, were swimming we were, in them. We were seeing them everywhere there for yeah. a little while, but they've kind of dried up and disappeared. I I bought the that. Resellers the resellers put them on the eBay. I bought that for the cover and the cover alone because it looked interesting, yeah. and it's not as interesting as the cover depicts. All right, my last single player game that yeah. I played. I. Did a review on it already, so mm -hmm. I'm not going to talk too much in length about it, but it was Kadelka on the PS1. Please go and watch that if you haven't seen yeah. it already, would appreciate it, but really cool, really cool. Uh, gave me a lot of Parasite E vibes, yeah. you guys know the channel, I love that game. It was the atmosphere, it was the, the, story. the story, I and I first tactics yeah. RPG that I've ever played, and I really enjoyed it so much that I had to go and buy a couple 
tactics yeah. RPG, sir. Oh. <laughs> it's a really good game. Last one for you, and then we get on to the games we gave up on. Yes. You're not done this. <gasps> You're I'm not finished. Gonna, my, my son is giving up on me on this game. I told you I'd finish this. I know movie. he. I told. Well, I told him you were going to, and then he's like, "No." Resident time. Evil Six. Six. So it's just the Ada Wong yes. one that you're into? How far are you into that one? There's four campaigns on this one. Well, we're we're in like a crypt in a dungeon and mm -hmm. we're trying to puzzle along through there and he's he's running through without me because I'm playing Ada Wong and he's playing the generic dude. They give you kind of like a generic soldier yeah. kind of guy. And he's playing that yeah. guy and he's pissing and moaning and whining mm. about the fact that I can't open doors. I'm like, what is the matter? I can't do the puzzles. Well, help me with them, but I'll just press the buttons. Yeah. And it's making him angry. It tells, tell Alex that. I know. But I'm just like, Alex. You don't think, hey, you haven't finished it yet. You don't get to talk that long about it, okay? I know, but I'm just like, just let me have this experience. <laughs> you played through it with Dad. Like, let me finish the experience by finishing it with me. We'll see. All right, two games that we gave up on. One that I gave up on alone. One we gave up on as a team. Team give up. Team give up. Uh, the first one I gave up on. <laughs> please, please feel free in the comments. Just to, rip up a new one. Yeah, rip me a new one. I don't care. No, but if you think I'm giving up on this one too early, because honestly, I've only played for about an hour and a half, and I, and I have not gone back to it. I threw it in on a whim one day. I think because when I was recovering from uh, my co my concussion, it was a very it's I'm like I need a turn based RPG that's you know, not a lot of movement, easy yeah. to play, something like something along that line. It is Demi Kids Dark version on the Game Boy Advance. I, I think I'm gonna this judge is you cursed. if you give this up. <laughs> this is cursed uh, because we had another game and I. We did trade on it, and that's a whole story. We lost money, money on it, and then we traded it for this one. And now, it sucks I, well, to Scott, anyways, with the hour and a half. I'm just not into it. it. I'm not into it. It it's gives, kind of me, gives me some Pokemon vibes, and I'm, I'm not a Pokemon guy. Yeah. Please tell me I need to... Scott, you need to play at least six hours to yeah. give it a chance or something like that. But yeah. right now, I'm just I'm just not digging it. So No. Unless you tell me otherwise, convince me in the comments. And shelving it is probably going to be traded soonish. Yeah. And the team give up, which is a damn shame because which we is were, Alex's fault. We were no, well, he, yeah, yeah, in he a good way. News. But yeah, it is uh, Hell Divers on the, the PS4. One. The first Hell Divers. Me, you, and Dennis were playing this, and we played a few hours the first night, and we were digging it. We were this like, is yeah, this is so much fun. This but, is fun. But I'm like, the meter's not moving. Why aren't we like... Yeah, like every kind of war zone, you're like, you're trying to take it over. And then Alex kind of broke it to us and said, you know, it's not just you. It's like everybody online is And we kind didn't of, set it up like that. And it's kind of, yeah, you're like chipping away. And he said, it takes a long time to do it. And the, he said, the war ends eventually. I'm like, <laughs> and you can eventually. See, you can see as he's explaining it, my smile is starting here and it's going. Uh, but to, we were having fun and I honestly, we, we put eight hours into this because I checked on my phone on my app. Yeah. And it says eight hours. We put eight hours into it. I'm not giving on, up on it forever. It just, as soon as we knew there was no real finish campaign, to, campaign it. Yeah. to it there, that it just, it took the wind out of all our sails. All our sails. But so, some yeah. night we're going to get bored and we're like, what do you want to play? We only have kind of an hour, an hour and a half, wherever. We'll have to play a little we'll, bit of Hell We'll throw that in again because it is fun. Yeah. But it just, because there's no end to it, it just, it's like kind of mini game yeah. after mini game. Not really mini game, but like small battle, small battle. The plan was, every time we do one of these videos, to kind of pick apart our collection and play some games that we think might be duds, yeah. but we just didn't get around to it because we played so many good games. Yeah, like yeah. I said, I've, life's been busy here for the last little bit. Yeah. 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 This one's staying in the collection because I said it's it's a good game. Yes. It's this one, mm, yeah. I might sit on Chance. it just to see if see the if value grows up. on yeah. it and trade it for something even better. This one. Uh, mm. <laughs> All right. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Uh, please, in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are. Yeah. And uh, until next time. Game.
You want to say on? How can you mess that up? Game on! I don't know. Did you just motorboat?